Hello and welcome to another Ends on Tech video. On today's episode, I want to show you how you can easily format a calendar view in Microsoft list or a SharePoint list using colors. And I also want to mention a few tips and tricks that you should take into consideration when applying a custom formatting to a calendar view. With Microsoft lists, you can create a calendar view from any list that you already have in your system. The only thing that you should guarantee is that it includes at least one column with the date that will be used to position the item in the calendar. Well, by default, you have the created and the modified columns, uh, but you can add extra columns as I did in this example, where the due date is the actual date that I will use to position this item in the calendar view. There are four different types of views that you can select from. You have day, you have month, you have week and also work week. You don't need to have all of them apply to the same list as I do in here. When creating a new calendar view, you can select the type of view that you want to have for your specific list. So what I want to show you here today is not how to create the calendar view. If you want to learn more about it, there's a link to a blog post that I wrote in the description below. Uh, what I want to show you is how you can easily format and change the colors of the events based on a column that exists in your list. So just looking here back to my list, as you can see, I have the title, the description, I have the due date, a few other columns, and also the category with the default values I have, uh, category with choice one, two, and three. And my goal is to paint the events in the calendar using the same colors that I have applied in here. So uh, category one will be blue, category two will be green, and then category three will be yellow. And in order to do that, you need to open the calendar view. Let me switch here a month so you can see more events and then select the format current view from the options for the calendar view. This will bring you to the conditional formatting option. This is the only available uh, formatting view that has a visual interface for you to change the way the calendar looks like. Obviously, you can go further and click in the advanced mode and apply your JSON formatting. But uh, for this video specifically, I want to focus on the visual interface. So I will hit the manage view. And now my goal is to edit this default um, condition that is added to the list. The events now are all uh, gray. Uh, and what I will do is select the category from this dropdown. But the category is not available in here. And this is a common issue when applying conditional formatting to the calendar. The calendar most of the times does not get all the columns that you need to apply the formatting into the view, and you need to add them to the view after creating the calendar. So let's cancel this formatting and let's go back here to the view menu and let's add the category to the view. So select category, hit apply or select any other column that you want to use. And let's go back to the formatting. Manage rules. And now if everything went as planned, I should have and I should see my category in here. As you can see, the category is here. I want to make it blue when the category is choice one. And to do that, I just need to pick the color from here, hit the save button. And as you can see, now my event with category one is displayed in, in blue. Let's quickly apply this to the other category so you can see how things look like. All right, so I quickly added the three conditions for each one of the categories. And as you can see, now the events in the calendar are displayed with the same color that exists in here. So for each new item added to the list and created with a category, it will automatically apply the color defined in here. For the ones that do not match any of the conditions, it will continue to display the default color. In Microsoft lists, it will be this purple. Within SharePoint, then you will see the color of the theme that it's applied to the site. So 
This works for each calendar view individually. So if you want to replicate what I just did in the month uh, view to, for example, the, the week view, then the same formatting will have to be applied. So for each one of the calendar views that you have in your list, you will have to do exactly the same thing. First, bring the uh, column that you want to use as part of the calendar view and not, and then create the conditional uh, formatting. Hope you like this video. Subscribe to know more about Microsoft lists and SharePoint or Microsoft Teams tips and tricks. If you want to learn more about Microsoft lists, I recommend you to go to Amazon and check out my book about Microsoft lists. It covers everything you need to know from the very basics all the way up to the advanced formatting options. If you want to get more videos like this in your YouTube feed, make sure you hit the subscribe button and see you next time. Bye bye.